Hello everyone, it is Grace and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things in my wardrobe that I couldn't live without. These are all for autumn, winter sort of time, but a couple of the things are for summer as well. If you like a classic sort of style look, I don't really know how to describe my style, but these 10 things... If I didn't have them in my wardrobe, I wouldn't be able to put an outfit together. They're wardrobe staples that I think every girl needs in her wardrobe. You know when you're about to get ready and you're looking for that one thing that you need to make your outfit? Like if you don't have, for example, this roll neck, you can't wear your outfit out. That is what most of these things are. I hope the camera angle's okay. I'm not used to standing up, so this is a bit weird for me. I'm going to go grab my first two items. They're the same thing, but in different colours. Hold on. My first item, or items, are blazers. Especially a black blazer, I'd say. Out of the two, if you're gonna go for one, I'd go for a black one, because winter time, you can wear it with black tights, you can wear it with boots. But if you want, this one's newer. This one is from Naked Fashion. And then this one I got two years ago from Topshop. Well, I get so many questions and I'm always like, I'm really sorry, it's a couple years old. It's their tuxedo blazer and it's got these gorgeous buttons that are kind of like silk. It's literally just a classic blazer. You can literally wear this with so much and it always looks classic. So obviously I won't be able to find you the exact blazer this is, but I'm going to try and find the nearest possible because this blazer is a lifesaver. I can't even explain it like i wear it so much i'd wear this with some jeans like just blue jeans trainers a white t-shirt and i always wear this on nights out as well i wear this over like a black just simple bodycon dress with some strappy black heels and it just looks so nice like my friends are actually sick of this blazer because i wear the same thing every time and i always reach for it and i just think you cannot go wrong with one of these blazers. If you wear more light tones, then this one is from Naked Fashion. This one is a bit more recent, and I will say that the quality isn't as nice as the Topshop one. Um, it's kind of similar, but this one's more of a crepey material. But the reason I went for this one was because I loved the shape of it. It's a very similar shape to this black one, and I like that it's not too, you know, like oversized and dad blazer vibe but it's also not too fitted i didn't want something really fitted but again this is the sort of thing that you could really dress up or really dress down like you could wear it with jeans you could wear this over like a cute summer dress this is why maybe a white one would be good because although it goes with black you can also wear it in the summer as well <laughs> i've still got the label on it i've not actually worn it out i've just worn it in a tiktok i do need to take the label off you probably will think i'm gonna send it back i'm not <laughs> Out of the two, I'd probably go for the black because I think you can wear the black with more. But a white one is another thing that is a staple for me. If you're going to go for one or the other, I'd probably pick black. Because I definitely wear black more. But I've not had this long. Before I go on to my next thing, I wanted to talk about my new mannequin. It's a sad day because my old one isn't in it anymore. That mannequin has been in every single video I've probably ever filmed on this channel. Since the start, that has been my background. My mum got me this pink one for Christmas because every time she'd come in my room, she'd be like, Grace, that mannequin just looks so run down. The flowers just started to look really dead and the paint was chipping. And my mum, every time she'd come in my room, she'd be like, Grace, that mannequin has got to go. And I was like, no. And then she got me a new one for Christmas. So this is the new mannequin. She's cute. I've tied my... Louis Vuitton necktie around her and I think she actually looks really cute. The next item that I couldn't live without in my wardrobe is something that I'm wearing now and that is my Gucci tights. When I tell you these are probably the best thing I ever purchased, not to be a pick me girl but I did buy these when they first came out. This was like 2018. Another lucky thing is that I haven't ripped them which is a miracle. I'm really clumsy so I'm really surprised I haven't ripped them but they're still here and next on my wish list is a pair of cream ones or white ones they don't seem to sell them anymore which is so upsetting i always search for them and it seems like gucci have just stopped them which is weird because they're really popular now have you seen the chanel ones they're so nice but they're like 200 pounds whereas i paid like 80 pounds for these and my mum was like grace you cannot be spending 80 pounds on tights and i did and i've proved to her that i've worn them so much i literally wear these with every outfit you can go on my instagram i will be wearing these tights I have noticed a lot of brands have been doing pattern tights recently, not just Gucci. So I found a pair. I think these might be from ASOS. Um, but they're these pattern ones. And they do look a lot like the Gucci ones. This is like a dupe. Um, and they're like bows. 
I think they're from ASOS. Um, but they've got like bows on them, but the same kind of pattern as Gucci. So this would be a really good dupe. I'm gonna try and link them down below. But pattern tights are just so in fashion at the minute, and I just don't think you can go wrong with them. Another thing that I think is trendy as well, wearing like a, a body con not a body con dress, but like a smart dress. Um, like as if you're going out to a party um, with pattern tights like I've seen that a lot and it does really bring me gossip girl vibes which I'm obviously here for my next wardrobe essential is going to be a pair of trainers now this can be any pair of trainers these are my favourite for the winter because they're black and they go over a lot of the things that I wear so these are my dual ones these are the only trainers I really wear when I'm like dressing up and going out I like to wear boots but for chill days and days where I want to just wear some jeans and maybe a shirt I'll go for these trainers. I've actually seen a pair of Nike trainers that I really want. I think they're called Cortez trainers. Let me put a picture of them here, but they're really 90s vibes. And who's that YouTuber that wears them? Kelsey Simone wears them. And she always looks so nice. She wears them with like a beret, a black blazer, boyfriend jeans. They're like black and white. I'm gonna have a picture on the screen, but I don't know if I could pull them off. But they're another pair of trainers that I really like. I also do like Air Force Ones. I did have a pair my brother stole them and then he got them all muddy so i can't wear them now it's a bit of a fashion police moment if you wear trainers with tights but i think because these are black i can kind of get away with it no oh let me know i don't know is that really wrong to wear them with black tights my next wardrobe essential you probably would have guessed this that is a trench coat so this is my gorgeous one that i got from vista village at burberry i can't remember what the style is i think it's just the regular style this is just something that in my wardrobe i couldn't live without the color of it just goes with every single outfit i'm gonna link some in the description you can get all different shapes as well you can get fitted ones the ones that are nearly down to your ankles they're really trendy you can get boxy ones you can get short ones like up to here you can get trench coats in so many different styles it just depends on what you like this fits me perfectly it's kind of like it's in between it's not too fitted it's also not too baggy either it kind of just has a straight fit but then you can cinch it in at the waist with the belt i normally just wear it open but you can do it up completely like i have this button out here the lady told me that's how they wear their trench coats in paris they put the buttons out here and then they tie it up at the front but you don't have to do that. I'll link loads of trench coats in the description. I'm pretty sure every brand does them. And then depending on your style, you can go with that brand. If your style is more Urban Outfitters, you can go for an Urban Outfitters one. If your style is more Zara, go for a Zara one. The next thing in my wardrobe that I just couldn't live without would be knee-high boots. These ones I got this year from Zara and they are just the best things I've ever bought in my life. They're just white boots and they sit up here on my knee. I love the whole knee-high boot trend. I think it's so nice. I think it looks really 60s as well and they go with everything. I like to wear my cream ones for like lighter outfits and then I have three pairs now actually of black ones, which is really bad. So these are my cream ones, which I love. I love the heel on them. They're perfect. If I could get these in black, I would, but they don't do them in black for some reason. I got these this year and they're real leather as well, so they're going to be really hard wearing they kind of look like welly boots but they're these like track sole trend ones i wear these a lot as well for when i can't be bothered to wear heels they're so comfy and i love how they sit under my knee as well these ones i've got for 30 pound from pull and bear which i thought was so good they're these ones and they have a massive platform on them they remind me of abba they're like 70s style i love them i just can imagine abba performing on stage in these you could wear these on a night out as well like with a bodycon black dress and the black blazer, these would look so cute. These boots, I just could not live without for winter. I've worn them with literally everything. They go with the trench coat, they go with the blazers. For me, these are just a staple and I think you will need a pair yourself. My next wardrobe essential is a white shirt. I've worn this white shirt so much. Like I've even worn this over the summer. It looks so cute tied up with a pair of cut off shorts. This is kind of like an oversized one from Zara. It's kind of oversized this one, but I do have a fitted one as well. Um, but I like the look of the oversized one because you can tie it up at the front. I've worn this as a bikini cover up as well. It looks so nice um, over a bikini as like a thing to wear down to the pool. This one is from Zara, but I'm pretty sure every single brand does them. But you can go on ASOS and get one, pretty little thing, probably do them. If you want to invest a bit more, I'm sure more designer brands do them. Another thing I like to wear this shirt with is, you know the sweater vest trend? 
I've got three different sweater vests. I've worn it with all of them. It's just a really good wardrobe staple and it looks nice with the blazer that I've shown you. It looks nice with the trench coat I've shown you. You can make loads of different outfits out of all of these pieces together. So that's why I think they're wardrobe essentials because not only can you wear them with different things, you can also wear them together and just create like a really simple yet yeah, elegant outfit. So this is definitely a staple for me. It looks so nice with so many different things. Like just a white shirt you cannot go wrong with. Okay, my next wardrobe essential is something that I've actually struggled with for years. I've always struggled to find like a, a perfect pair of jeans that fit me well, which is why I normally tend to opt for skirts, shorts, or just different trousers, like floppy trousers. I'm always buying new jeans and then selling them on Depop because they end up just not suiting me. I think I literally was like, right Grace, you need to, I'm sick of not having jeans. You need to go on Zara and just order about 10 pairs, try them all on and pick the best ones. So I did that and that actually really helped me. So if you're struggling with finding the perfect pair of jeans, you probably should do that as well. Zara do good ones, because they have like every single style, but I know Topshop do good jeans as well. They're just straight leg and then they've got this frayed hem. By the looks of it, they went in the sale and they're sold out but they've got another pair on there with a rip. Hold on. Okay, they've got a really similar pair that are literally the same, just with a rip in the knee. Yeah. These are my jeans and I love them. These are definitely, oh, I've just got my lipstick. <laughs> these are definitely a wardrobe staple for me. I don't think I could live without these jeans. Okay, my next piece in my wardrobe that I just couldn't live without for winter. I've probably worn this with nearly every outfit. It is this black Zara skirt with a slit you can't even go wrong with this if you buy this skirt you will want to wear it every single day of your life it looks so cute with a black roll neck tights and knee high boots it looks so cute with like a shirt i can't believe how much i've worn this it gives me rachel green vibes from friends and ever since i saw it on her i was like oh my god i need a skirt like that but nowhere was bringing them out and then zara bought this one out and i was like oh my god and i love the kind of like 90s vibe it has i've just realized i've actually got 11 things not 10. the video is meant to be 10 essentials but it's turned into 11. this is another thing i couldn't live without because it literally goes with everything i could wear it with my trench coat i could wear it with my blazers this honestly is a lifesaver i wear it with absolutely everything i just feel like a roll neck is such a wardrobe essential and this one's quite warm as well because it's knit, but you can also get like ribbed ones with the knee-high boots, a blazer, the slit skirt, and maybe tights. It just looks so kind of chic. I can't explain it, but like an all black look in the winter looks so chic. Zara do this every year as well, this exact one with the gold buttons going down it. So I'll link a couple down below. Okay, my next wardrobe essential is a nude bag and a black bag. I feel like in your wardrobe you need a black bag and a nude bag. A nude bag for days that you wear more light colours and a black bag for when you wear your darker colours. This one you may recognise from my unboxing, it's my Chanel Classic Flap. And then this one is my Dior Lady in the colour Fard. Finally, my last wardrobe essential. Some people are going to be like, ill. I would say a beret for me is a winter wardrobe essential. Some people hate these things. <laughs> But I personally love them. Imagine that with the black Chanel bag, with the trench coat. Like, it just makes the outfit look so cute. I personally love them. And if you go for just, like, a black one and a cream one, like I have, you can wear them with any outfit. They just make you look French. I love them. Let me try on the cream one for you as well. Um, this one, this cream one I got at Brook Lane Vintage Market. It was only, like, a fiver. And then I can't remember, I think the black one I got from ASOS or maybe Brandy Melville actually. I feel like they just never go out of fashion. They're always in style. Even if you picked out the most basic things like a black blazer, a black roll neck and a black skirt, put a beret on and you just look so French and Parisian. <laughs> you look like you should be walking around Paris with like a baguette in your hand. I love berets. I will always wear them. I'll always have them and maybe I need to, maybe I need to buy a new colour. Well, that is it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed. It's a bit of a different one. I would just say those things, for me, just have created my winter wardrobe. Like, I couldn't style outfits without these things. And a lot of the time, I literally just wear these things, like a black roll neck, some jeans, and a trench coat. But I do hope you all enjoyed this video. 
give it a thumbs up if you did and if you're new here subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one bye Mwah.